Good afternoon, everybody. So we are wrapping up the American Correctional Association's 151st Congress of Corrections Conference here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm with ACA President Commissioner Tony Parker. Commissioner, what's it been like for you to have the conference in your home state finally? Oh, it's a blast, right? I, I've, I've been anticipating this conference and, you know, just with getting through 2020 and knowing that we're going to have an opportunity to all be back together uh, practitioners and people who work in corrections they're the best ever I, I say that when you talk about public servants and people who really work together as a team you can't beat the people in corrections and everyone's had a great time you know it's uh, the workshops have all overflowed the people st and standing in the back of the rooms uh, we had two plenary sessions both of those were packed well this morning had a few empty seats but i think last night on broadway kept a few <laughs> of them out so but hey it's been great uh, you know the host committee did a great job i have not heard one negative comment mm -hmm. uh, but really what you know, what can you say bad about Tennessee, right? right? Being in the best state, yeah. So, yeah, we've had a great time. Yeah, good. And we got to hear from Rodney Atkins, huge country music star that you got to interview. Yeah. And also Governor Bill Lee. Can you? Well, you know, I can't say enough about Bill Lee, our mm -hmm. governor. Uh, the man that has a, a, a heart and a passion for corrections and what we do, criminal justice reform, and, and really uh, his work, his prior work in corrections, and then the relationship he still has with the people of corrections today uh, is phenomenal. But to, to have a governor show up twice in one day, right? Twice in one day to come to speak to an event of, that has correctional professionals there and practitioners is just, it speaks for itself. He's a great man, he's a great leader, he cares about corrections. Uh, we've seen some really hard work in criminal justice reform take place under his leadership and watch and it's going to continue in the days ahead so i can't say enough about our governor and my friend bill lee yeah. Yeah. and what about why do you think it's so important for not only our correctional professionals but correctional professionals around the country and globally yeah. to come together to share ideas here? Yeah, well, I think that's it. You know, just bringing everyone together to talk about what's going on, right? We, we find so often that the problems that we have here in Tennessee or the challenges we have here in Tennessee are the challenges that you see in other countries or in other states. And we also know that some of the ideals and the best practices uh we share those and talk about them debate them uh we come out with different ideals of how to do our, our work better and be more effective more efficient uh, and then just to you know to to be around people that are in the same industry uh, has a value by itself in, in its own uh, works but you know it's just a great time uh, and great fellowship and sadly for us, you're retiring from the Department of Correction, but you'll always be around, correct? Well, you know what? I've got another year and a half to do as ACA president. Yeah. So, yes, even after that, I promise you, Dorinda, I'm yeah. going to be around in corrections and I'm going to, you're still going to see, uh, you know, my smiling face around. <laughs> and uh, I'll always be happy to do an interview with you anytime. So we'll catch you in Phoenix then. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, in January, Phoenix is the next ACA conference and look forward to seeing everyone there. And again, I know it'll be a great, great conference. Thank you, yeah. Commissioner and President Parker. Thank it's you. always so good to hear uh, your ideas on, on issues. And you all be sure to, as always, follow us on social media here on Facebook. We're also on Twitter and Instagram.